Hey there, future film editor. Today we're diving into the cool world of resizing, moving, and spinning your videos and pictures in Final Cut Pro. Imagine you've got a clip in your video that's like a puzzle piece you want to fit perfectly. Here's how you resize, move, and rotate it. Step one, pick a clip in your timeline. And step two, move the playhead over the clip in the viewer so you can see it up close. Step three, click this little arrow in the bottom left of the viewer and select transform. Or right click in the viewer and select transform. Or if you're feeling extra cool, press shift T. Now it's like you're holding the clip with magical handles. You can make it bigger or smaller by clicking and dragging on a blue corner handle. If you hold shift and drag on a corner handle, it becomes freeform, squishing and stretching the video or image. You can stretch it or squish it with the side handles. But if you hold down shift and drag a side handle, it will stay the same shape and you can resize your media. This center circle is the rotation point. To rotate, click on this little blue circle in the middle and give it a twist. You can get more control by pulling away from the center. If you want it to spin in 45 degree steps, hold down shift. And you can even move your clip around. Just drag anywhere to move it. If you're feeling puzzled about what you did, don't worry. Just hit the reset button and everything will go back to the original settings. If you found these tips helpful and you're excited to put them to use in Final Cut Pro, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Liking the video not only lets us know you enjoyed the tips, but it also helps other fellow editors discover these awesome tricks. So go ahead, give that like button a friendly tap and spread the editing love. Guess what? There's another way to do this. In the inspector, you can find these controls too. If you don't see the inspector, look for the three slider icon in the upper right corner or press Command 4. Then click the film strip button to open the video inspector. Drag those X and Y values and watch your clip move left, right, up, or down. Grab that rotation control and start twisting. Or drag up and down over the rotation value to rotate your media. Hold down the Option key and move that rotation value up or down. Your clip will spin in tiny steps like a slow motion dance. Use the Scale All slider to make your clip bigger or smaller. Or drag the Scale All number up or down. See those Scale X and Scale Y controls? Change the width or height alone. Press Shift T to bring up the on-screen controls. Next, change anchors X and Y to control where your clip spins from. Now your clip rotates around a new point. To change the anchor point and keep things centered, put the same numbers in the X and Y positions as you did for the anchor point. Now you can spin your clip around the new anchor point and it will stay in the middle of the screen. You messed up? Hit the arrow button and choose reset parameter. It's like erasing your mistakes. To start over, click the arrow button at the top of the transform section and select reset parameter. Fresh start. Want to turn off the effect? Click the checkbox next to transform. The cool thing is if you want it back, just check it again. Your settings are saved. So now you're ready to make your clips bigger, smaller, spin around, and do all sorts of movie magic in Final Cut Pro. You can take those moves to the next level by keyframing them. Click here to check out my video on adding keyframes in Final Cut Pro.